You were very courageous there. That's what is required. You see, you know, with, with jumpers, when you first start teaching a baby jumper, you bring them into a, like a little cross rail, right? And they, they, they look down at it, and maybe the, the rider, you know, just goes like this with their reins, and the horse maybe hits it. And he goes, ow. And then they go back around, and the, the really knowledgeable, you know, jumping rider comes back around and just sort of trots back in and lets the horse look at it. And the horse goes, and he goes, he hits it again. He goes, ow. And then the third time, he comes back around, and he comes up to it, and he goes, well, I'm not going to hit that. And he flings his legs up over it, and the rider goes, good boy. And the horse starts going, what? So you see, in training the horse, it's not your job to make him with your strength canter on a spot any more than it's your job to every stride be saying, okay, Lou, canter. Oh yeah, by the way, Lou, canter another stride. Oh, by the way, Lou, canter another stride. Oh, by the way, Lou, canter another stride. Or if you're in the extended trot, you're not supposed to be going trot, 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 trot. You're supposed to go flip the switch, extended trot, half halt, collected trot, half halt, passage, half halt, key off, half halt. It's a doorway through which you make every change of bend, balance, movement, gait, or pace. It's not the, that you you set the aids on and like remember the light switch for the party you're not supposed to be having the party and you it's your party and you think well unless I go over and I hold the switch the lights aren't going to stay on so there all your friends are having the party and you're over there with the light switch right your job isn't to do that your job is to switch the switch on and go have a great party your job is to define what you see in your vision as the cantering on the spot in your rhythm, in your tempo, in your frame, in your length of stride. And he either does it, or guess what the worst case scenario is? He trots, he fails, and you say, mama didn't say trot. And he goes back to the canter and says, well, that was a bad choice. That's the ow of the cross rail. And then you try it again. You bring him into the cross rail. And he maybe hits it again. He said, Mama didn't say that. You bring, the third time he comes back, he says, I don't think I want to stop. So he began there to do what he did, which was really interesting, that moment over here where he started to truly get the idea of a Piaf on his own. He is way more athletic than you think. Way more. What both of you have to do is not be so attached to not making the mistake, but rather train him like that jumping rider off of beautiful aids and then let the chips fall where they may in a sense and then say, okay, you made a mistake, I'll correct you, now let's try it again with beautiful aids, whispering aids. And then he says, well, I, I'm not that organized, I'm not that coordinated yet. And you say, well, you know, you got, you're a big, strong horse on four legs. Get coordinated. Mama's going to tell you what to do with great aids. Your job is to be coordinated. And if I say speed up the rhythm, speed up the rhythm. If I say slow down the rhythm, slow down the rhythm. If I say get shorter in the stride, get shorter in the stride. If I say get longer in the stride, get longer in the stride. If I say get rounder, get rounder. If I say come up more, come up more, right? When I said he was too deep. You understand all of that now?